Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to what was on sale at the grocery store. Um, so it's just after the May 2-4 when I'm filming this. But the day after Easter, I go to the grocery store and they had these rib roasts on sale. This is fairly small. Um, it was two kilos, which is just over four pounds, maybe just under four and a half pounds. And they were on sale, picked one up, stuck it in the freezer. Went to the freezer two days ago, pulled it out of the freezer, unwrapped it, put it on this tray and stuck the tray in the fridge in the basement to let it thaw. Yesterday, pulled it out of the fridge, um, rubbed a little bit of oil on the outside and then sprinkled it with our Montreal steak spice rub. Got it all over and then stuck it back in the fridge overnight again. Took it out of the fridge this morning to let it come up to room temperature. It's just about room temperature now. Here's the thing. This two kilo roast was $15. It was only labeled as a rib roast. Um, it's not butchered terribly well. There was no statement of, of grading on it, what grade it was. The marbling isn't fantastic. I'm not expecting a whole lot from this roast. So that's why I'm treating it this way. I've got the Yoder smoker going outside. Uh, at 275, I'm going to stick this out on the smoker and smoke it. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, letting it dry out a little bit and putting the uh, the Montreal steak spice on the outside is going to help it out as well as a slow smoke. So let's go to the smoker, put it on and we'll see what happens. Okay, so like I said, I've got the Yoder going. It is set to 275 right now. Um, I'm running a mix of whatever pellets were left in the shed from last summer. Uh, so it's a mix of apple, cherry, um, what were they? Anyway, there's probably four or five part bags worth of pellets in there. Just a total dog's breakfast. I'm going to put this in. I'm going to put it on the top shelf here. Um, specifically because for the old cookbook show, I'm making something that's going to go under. Uh, 1700s, one of the things that they did all the time was cook vegetables under the meat. There we go. Don't open the lid. Okay, so this is sat tented for a little while. I think it smells really good. Hey, Glenn, careful with hey, the Jules. knife. Hey, Franz. So I assume that smoked because when I came by, I saw the when I saw the smoker, and it smelled really good. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the ribs off. There we go. So the ribs are off. For Glenn to snack on later. Yes. Uh -huh. And so I took this to. 132 on the smoker and then it sat here and it got to 137 and so it should be a medium doneness and it should be quite red inside from the smoke so let's cut a slice off there we go let's cut two slices off okay let's have supper you got oh, forks i do i should probably get some more appropriately sized knives. Let's have the end piece. because Oh, know. that's my favorite. <laughs> I noticed you've got a lot of stuff on the outside as well. Yeah, so I put um, I put Montreal steak spice on the outside. Ooh, classic. I, I was not, I mm. didn't have high hopes for this piece of meat, but. Mm. That's great. That's quite good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. That'll work. Yeah. That'll do, Glenn. That'll do. <laughs> okay, so um, an on sale discount, ungraded, wackily wonkily cut rib roast on the smoker tastes amazing. And it was cooked over top of tomorrow's recipe from the old cookbook show, which is this potato pudding. 
potato pudding. And it's got the drippings on it. Tastes... Uh, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's got the drippings on is, it. Is that what that is there? Yeah. Okay. I thought that was a fruit, but okay. So come on back tomorrow for the potato pudding from 1777. There we go. Perfect. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.